so good morning everyone today i'm going to discuss number system already we have completed some portion of number system that includes positional non positional and we have seen how do we add the numbers in different different pieces like here i had shown a decimal number in uh, left hand side and here it is octal number and here it is hexadecimal number consists of 16 single digit numbers and then binary numbers so these are unique kind of number so this was just an introduction and after that i had shown you uh, what is the general expansion formula for all the numbers okay if you want to check if you know the decimal number of uh, decimal equivalent of any number then you can check whether your answer is correct or not so this formula is given in my uh, ppt's or uh, ppt also which is uh, which is shared in your group so let me start uh, with uh, converting from decimal to any number system so today's topic is conversion from decimal to any number system okay so uh, and in in between this if time permits then i will uh, surely explain you uh, numbers other than decimal hexadecimal octal and binary okay so let us start now conversion from decimal to octal and we have expansion formula also so we will see the use of expansion formula okay and this conversion includes decimal points or octal point radix point okay so if it is not completed today i will complete it today uh, tomorrow fine so suppose a number is given like initially we start with integer number if any integer number like 459 is given in decimal okay and the question is coming like <coughs> sorry you need to convert it into equivalent octal number okay so this is the question and you need to convert this now what is the solution for this 459 is always divided by octal number 8 okay the base is 8 whenever you divide a number in modulus division just see it it is not normal division it is modulus division like whatever you have calculated in lcm etc so here you need to put remainder okay here you need to put the remainder of this step so let us divide this number so 8 pipes of 40 40 and after that pipe okay and 8 sevens of 56 is this division correct yes sir okay so uh, there is fine so in this division this is known as uh, modulo division okay or uh, and this time it is modulo k division means modulo 8 because we are going is about mod 8 means we are calculating the number divisible by 8 and c the beauty of this approach is that whenever you divide a number it will always give you a remainder less than 8 okay there is no absolute no chances to get a remainder equals to 8 or greater than 8 fine so this after that after performing this step uh what will be the uh, 56 3. means 3 will be the remainder okay then come to next step 8 sevens of 56 okay and then remainder is 1 and 8 zeros zero uh, and remainder is 7 so is this correct division now write the first position the first number in right then next number in next place 
and then next number in next place. Okay, so the answer is 713 in octal. Let me check whether I am uh, whatever I had done is correct or not. Whatever I had done is correct or not. So this is zero at position. This is first position and this is second position. OK, so what is the formula of expansion? You know very well. So let us expand this number. OK, so let me expand this number and 10 means decimal number of this equivalent to 7 multiplied by base is 8. And the power is 2 plus 7 uh, 1 multiplied by 8 and power is 1 and plus 3 multiplied by 8 and power is 0. OK. So this is 7 multiplied by 64 plus 8 plus 3 multiplied by 1. OK. Now what is the answer? Four forty eight plus eight plus three. So, uh, is this answer four fifty nine is coming? Yes, sir. So it means whatever I had solved, it is correct. Got it or not? Uh, yes. Yes. Sir. So all all of you. Yes, sir. If if you have any uh, doubt, then please ask. Division ek bar fir se bata do. Division ek bar fir se bata do. See, this is one number. Okay, four fifty nine. So whenever you are putting four fifty nine divided by eight, what will be the result? Eight fours, uh, eight fives are forty. Eight ones are eight, and eight fives are 40 and then what is the remainder? Remainder is 5. 8 uh, sevens are 56. OK, so 57 and what will be the remainder after this step? So this is 3. So likewise you are going to calculate. OK, this is known as modulo. K division. Modulo. K division. What is the purpose of this number? आप इस नंबर को डिवाइड करते हो ओके और जो भी रिजल्ट आता है जो भी क्वेश्चन आता है उसको यहां लिखते हो और जो भी रिमाइंडर आता है उसको यहां लिखते हो फाइन व्हेनेवर यू आर डिवाइडिंग अ नंबर व्हाटएवर क्वेश्चन मे बी देयर इट विल प्लेस हियर एंड द रिमाइंडर विल बी फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेप द रिमाइंडर विल बी प्लेस्ड हियर एंड आफ्टर दैट फर्दर यू नीड टू डिवाइड एंड यू नीड टू डिवाइड टिल द uh, unity is coming. OK, so this is unity. OK, unity number and then again you divide eight zeros are zero means uh, what will be the remainder seven. OK, so eight fives are eight sevens are 56 and then remainder is 56 plus one is 57. So simple. This is very simple and I think you need to practice for this. So. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. OK, and let me clarify once again. This is last step for clarification. OK, but how many times you need to do? So. T9 divided by 8. This was our traditional method. 8, uh, 8 fives are. 40 and then we put 5 and 9 here. And then eight, uh, eight sevens are fifty six, and the remainder is three, and this remainder is placed here, okay, and this fifty seven is placed here. Now further fifty seven is divided by eight, okay, and eight uh, sevens are fifty six, and this is one, a remainder is placed here, and after that. This seven will be divided by eight. OK, so eight zeros are zero and then seven is the remainder. So this seven is written here. So likewise, how many steps you can perform like this because you are already a graduate student. So you can do this type of calculation and this type of calculation is very good. And this calculation you can do 
for your convenience, but uh, it is not recommended. OK, now this is for integral part or integer part. OK, let us try number which is given in octal. OK. So suppose a number. Let me extend this problem. 459.88. Is this number uh, an octal number? No, sir. Nine is there. Never, never. It is not a not an octal number. OK, so this is my uh, wrong. But I'm not Octal number. Kyun hai, sir? OK, octal number. Q nahi hai. Very good. 459. 0.88 is not an octal number because octal number consists of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Only these numbers. And you are seeing what numbers are given here. If you don't know anything, it is also showing you here. Okay? That's why. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So it is not coming under octal number. So be sure that whenever a problem like this is coming, just write that the problem is given wrongly. But uh, just I, I had given this problem to confuse you or ask you whether you are very sure or not. So let me start and I'm extending this problem. OK, I'm extending this problem. I'm using the same number 459.68. OK, this is given in decimal. So for integer part, you need to solve by using same method. OK, um, now for fractional part. So you need to write for. Integer part. OK, and now for. Fractional part. Fine now in fractional part. If you are dividing the number here, you need to multiply the number and multiply it by a. Whenever you are going to multiply any number by eight, it was all it will always give you uh, the number in leftmost place. The number will always be uh, from zero to seven. OK, regardless of any number, any decimal number, if you place this either zero or uh, means before decimal point, it will either give you zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can try any number fine. So let me start with solving uh, solving this problem. So just write 0.68 here and multiply it by 8. What will be the result? Now switch on your calculator and tell me what is the answer. Sir, 8.68. It is not possible. 0. 0.6 into 8. 0.68 into 8 is 5.44. Yes, sir, my mistake. Sorry, sir. Oh, yes. Now see the number which is before this point will be written here. OK, and the remaining number will be used here. So now come to 0 0.44 multiplied by 8. 8 fours are 32. 8 fours are 32 plus 3 is 35. So this number is 3.52. So the the whole part will be taken as uh, this is three. OK, so the integer part will be taken here. Now this is three and the remain, remaining portion 0 0.52 will again be multiplied with eight. Eight two is 16, eight five is 40 and 42. OK, so this is. Four. Oh, one, 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 four point one six. Four point one six. OK, not an issue. Four point one six. OK, then come to zero point one six multiplied by eight. What will be the result? One point one point two eight. So up to this place it is sufficient because here two places are shown. So for actual uh, octal number you can use up to one place. OK, not go for or go further. 
and then answer will be for this fractional part 0.68 in decimal equals to uh, point 0. Point 0. Point 0.0.0.5341 let us check whether the answer is correct or not okay in case of octal number okay this is justified there is no problem now we need to justify the fractional part only so the power will start from the power will start from minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so let us start and now please tell me what is the uh, calculated result so this is 5 into 8 to the power minus 1 plus 3 into 8 to the power minus and this answer is given in n10 okay minus 2 and plus 4 into 8 to the power minus 3 and 1 into 8 to the power minus 4 it simply means that 5 divided by 8 plus 3 divided by 8 square plus 4 divided by 8 cube and plus 1 divided by 8 to the power 4 so what is the answer up to three decimal places okay So first one is 0.625. Sir, final answer is 0 0.6679. 0 0.679, okay. And 679 is almost equals to 0 0.68. Agree or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. So let me, let me solve this, all this. Uh, and then next number is your uh, 3 divided by 64 okay 3 divided by 64 is 0 0.47 0 0.468 and plus this is wrong answer i think 0 0.0468 This is bam, 0 0.0467 or 8. Okay, three digits is sufficient. Uh, so this may be 7. Let me check once again. And 4 divided by 8 cube. So 0 0.0007 56 equals to 0 0.015625 So 0 0.01625 and plus 1 divided by 8 to the power 4 whatever may be the answer this answer is coming approximately 0 0.679 correct or not uh, correct yes sir okay so this is equivalent to this number and now the whole answer is in octal form the whole answer in octal form is answer in Octal equivalent is 459.68 in 10 equals to this. Uh, what is the answer in octal? This is 713. So 713 point. This is the answer. 5341 in octal. So this is the complete answer. Okay. Any doubt? No, sir. So now is it easy 
to uh, convert from decimal to octal? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Fine. So now let us start conversion from. Conversion from decimal to hexadecimal. Okay, so suppose the same number is given 459.68 is given in decimal and you need to calculate x16. Okay, so how do we solve the same problem? Answer is coming in reduced terms, maybe in two digits. Okay, so let me start doing this 459 divided by 16. So 16 to the 32, and then uh, uh, remainder is how much? Seven. 13. 13. So now 139 divide 139 by 16. 8.68. And what is the remainder? 11. 11 is the remainder. Okay. So this is 11. Now, once again, 16. Once a 16. Okay. And then remainder is 12. 12. And 16, 0 is a 16. And remainder is 1. So whenever you are uh, uh, writing like this, is the wrong answer. If you are putting like this. Okay, 1, 1, 2, 11. Okay, this is wrong answer. Absolutely wrong answer. So what is the, how do you uh, write correct answer? Because the answer must be coming in uh, single digit. Okay, so just write counting from uh, 9. Okay, starting from 9. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this is F, E, D, C, B, A, and this is 9. So this is single digit number. Now the answer is, what is 11? 11 is B. What is 12? 12 is C. And what is 1? 1 is 1. There is no problem. So this is written in 16. Okay. And now expand this number. So expand this number. By using the same formula, uh, expansion formula, so n10 equals to this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. So this is 1 multiplied by 16 square plus c. Equivalent to c is 12. 12 multiplied by 16 to the power 1 plus uh, b. Equivalent to b is 11. 11 multiplied by 16 to the power 0. So what is the result? This is 256. This is uh, and this is 11. So 459 is coming or not? 62819. Yes, sir. 459. So it is in yes, decimal. So it means it simply means that we have calculated correct in uh, decimal. OK, now I'm going to solve for for fractional part. OK, for fractional part. If the uh, if the number is simply given, then this will be the problem. OK, for integer part. 
so and if 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 the number is not uh, given as uh, uh, this point six set or uh, in decimal point then it the answer is very simple this is the answer and uh, yes mute yourself this is very why you are unmuting i don't know okay so now come to for fractional part 0.68 is given in decimal so now we need to solve 0.68 multiplied by 16 it will give you 10.88 yes sir now 0.88 multiplied by 16 14.08 14.08 and i think this much is sufficient you need to write for uh, uh, four or five digit okay but uh, because this is decimal to hexadecimal conversion so already this number will come so that's why i am not going to explain uh, further or you can move further but i am i am i am stopping here myself so now what is the answer this is first position Okay, so ten is ten is a and fourteen is a e e. Okay, so now the answer is zero point a e. Let us solve this. Let us further expand this. So this is a means ten ten multiplied by a uh, not multiplied by ah uh, yes multiplied by sixteen to the power minus one. Plus fourteen multiplied by sixteen to the power minus two. So this is ten divided by sixteen plus fourteen divided by two fifty six. So what is the answer? This is our uh, six seven yes. nine six eight seven five zero point six two five. This this one is zero point six two five. Yes sir. And the next term is. Zero point zero five four. Let us add together. So five plus four is nine, and uh, this is seven, and this is six. So point uh, six seven nine is approximately zero point six eight. Correct or not? In decimal. So this is our expansion, na? Expansion to get the number in. decimal system so this is number 10 and the final number 10 is given this so it means this part is also validated so final answer in hexadecimal for, for uh final answer in hexadecimal will be 1 cb dot a e in hexadecimal so up to this is there any problem no sir no sir fine no, sir. so a remainder is also clear and this is also clear okay yes, so sir. let uh, so let me now explain uh, binary is remaining here okay so i am not going to solve binary number i am going to solve suppose in examination some other conversion is coming okay conversion from conversion from x 10 to this is 10 okay x p okay and this p may be anything so suppose conversion from let us write the same number 459.68 in decimal we need to convert it into x5 okay x5 so what is the x5 is there is no number system like x5 but we will uh, solve this problem 459 for integer part for integer part okay so 459 divided by 5 
nines are 40, uh, five nines are 45, and then five ones are five, and remainder is four. Five ones are five, and then four is there. Five eights are 40, and then one is remainder. Five threes are 15, and three is remainder. And five zeros of a zero and three is remainder. So the answer is if you are not able to put so many arrows, then you can use this arrow also from bottom to top. So the answer is three, three, one, four. OK, and then followed by five. So uh, whether the answer is correct or not. So let us check zero, one, two and three. So let us expand this number. OK. Let us expand this number and 10 equals to 3 into 5 to the power 3. Why? Because our base is 5 and we have divided it in terms of 5. Then 3 into 5 to the power 2 plus 1 into 5 to the power 1 plus 4 into 5 to the power 0. So there is no meaning of writing 5 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 1. Why? Because it is 5 and it is 1. But to make it uh, convenient to understand, I had written this. So 3 into 125 plus 3 into 25, 3 into 5 into 5, 25, 25 multiplied by 5 is 125, correct? 3 into 25 and then this is 5 and this is 4, okay? So now this will be 375? Yes, sir. Yes, sir plus this is 75 and plus the these two numbers are 9 okay so this is 450 plus 9 450 plus 9 and this will give you 459 in decimal so now it is very easy to understand that you can convert from an decimal to any number system agree or not and if you want to convert from uh, any number system to decimal. So this is suppose this is your problem and you want to convert it into decimal. Then this is the answer. OK, this is the solution. If you are going to convert from this to this, so this is the solution. But this this step is for cross very uh, cross validation. OK, so that's why I'm showing you whether I am going right or not. And now for fractional part for fractional part. So let us write the number. What is our number? 0 0.68. OK, is given in decimal. Let me solve the problem. 0 0.68 because the number is given in uh, 5. So at least uh, 4 to 5 step is there multiplied by multiplied by. Yes. Anyone? That 5 key power minus 5. Sir. Why? Because you are you are just going to find equivalent. OK, you are not expanding. Expansion may have power lagega. here. You need not to go for expansion. You just uh, checking the equivalent number. So what is the number? Five eight. Three point uh, two. Huh? Three point four. Three point Three point two. Na? Four. 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 OK, 3.4. So now the number is 3 and then go for 4. 0 0.4 multiplied by 5. So this will give you 2. 2.0. So no need to go further. OK, this answer is. 0 0.32 in this 5 system and let us solve this minus 1 and minus 2. So. <clears throat> expansion OK, this is cross validation phase. So expansion is. It will always give you n 10 OK, so this is 3 divided by 5 plus 2 divided by 25. I had written directly or you can expand like 3 into uh, 5 to the power minus 1 plus 3 into uh, 2 into 5 to the power minus 2 OK. So what is the answer now? 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Here 0 0.6. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. 0 
0.08. Straight forward, the answer will come as 0.68 in decimal. And the answer, the final answer in base 5 is, this is also known as base 5, base P. Anna? So the final answer is, uh, what is the final answer? 3314, 3314 dot um, 32. Okay, so this is in 5. Any doubt? So is it sufficient for today? Or go yes, for sir. Or, or just we, we check a binary yes, number. Sir. Enough, sir. Enough. Enough. Yes. Enough, sir. Okay. So I will give you assignment based on all these numbers later on. Okay. And there are five to six problems, but all the problems are mandatory and I can ask the explanation also. So in this okay, assignment, sir. no copy paste is uh, means uh, permissible because it is very harmful for you otherwise. Okay. Yes, sir. So I will conclude this class. Okay, Thank sir. you very much. And we will meet with uh, to the students of A section uh, after this. OK. Thank you. Yes, okay, sir. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And I will uh, forward this slide upon completion of this number system. Fine. Yes. So you'll be able to get how to solve this uh, all these steps. So let me stop recording. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a nice time. The next class will be.